Nearly a decade ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before, Kitchen Stadium, a giant cooking arena. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. Out of cheesy! To realize his dream, he started choosing the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Roksaburo Michiba. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from all over the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, there to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a Challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Every battle, reputations are on the line in Kitchen Stadium, where master chefs pit their artistic creations against each other. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If memory serves me right, in 1995, Japan's meteorological agency forecasted a rather cooler summer than usual. Their forecast was terribly wrong. Temperatures rose above 100 degrees for days on end, and the heat was unbearable. As heat rises, appetites tend to subside. So, to tantalize our taste buds, I bring you the annual summer tag team battle. The first tag team battle was in 94 with Michiba and Chen. However, <laughs> The Iron Chef duo lost to the heavyweights of French. I regret the upset and would not enjoy watching another. But I do love the intense competition, and to that end I have found yet another pair of chefs who I am certain will raise the bar of excellence. These Italian brothers have recently earned quite a bit of fame. Allow me to introduce to you the rising stars of Italian cuisine in Japan, Salvatore Cuomo and his younger brother, Raffaele Cuomo. Born in Naples, Italy, they started cooking as early as grade school and soon absorbed the basics of southern Italian cooking. In 1988, they moved to northern Italy, working at top restaurants, consequently breathing in new winds of Italian cuisine. Being brothers as well as partners for more than 10 years, they are inseparable both in and out of the kitchen. In the kitchen, we two work as one team. We feel we're part of each other. Salvatore and I, together, we make great food. Great food. The Cuomo brothers first came to Japan in 1990 to help their father open one of his restaurant branches. In 1995, they left their father's side and opened their own establishment. The two older brothers cook in the kitchen, while the youngest brother Luigi handles the management. Their popularity is such that at times, reservations must be made as far as six months in advance. The Cuomo brothers' dishes are praised by many a gourmet in Naples as genuine southern Italian cuisine, but with the added nuances to allow for variation and evolution. Steaming with the intent to burn the reigning Iron Chefs, we accept the challenge with Michiba back in force. So now, Kuomo brothers, show us the bond and teamwork of brotherhood. Let us forget the summer heat while basking in the infernal heat of battle. I want to make good food. And have fun cooking. Iron Chefs are not a, not a team. We are one strong team. We'll win.
Trying to beat the heat with two chefs doing the cooking for each side today. And with us to witness the battle, a big fan of Iron Chef, singer Hideki Saijo, welcome to the show. It's great to be here. Saijo-san, I understand you are very much into cooking. And yes. uh, with the curry commercial, making a lot of that at home? Well, I'm a curry guy inside and out. Sponsors will love hearing that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, and you'll be seeing some great cooking today, so enjoy. Yes. And our commentator, Dr. Yukio Hattori. Doc? Always a pleasure. Okay, let's bring on Chairman Kaga. One year kitchen studio, あの伝説のタッグマッチ。今年のひどい猛暑を乗り切るためにもあのお祭りを復活させるしかないと思いました。そこで今日選んだ2人はイタリア料理界を騒然とさせているイタリア人の兄弟。店は5ヶ月先ま
Bang a gong, we are on our second doubles match. Just a little over a year ago, Iron Chef's Chen and Michiba involved in the first one losing, and Michiba with an opportunity to make amends today. And Saijo san, yep. today's theme tomatoes, not apples, from the punchline in your honey and apple curry commercial. <laughs> but how about tomatoes? What uh, kind of dishes spring to mind? Well, tomato sauce for spaghetti is the uh, first thing I think of. Spaghetti, yeah. right? Yeah. And uh, with the brothers, they were all pumped up after the theme was unveiled. Tomatoes, yeah. they were I loving that, it. Yeah. Fukuzan, from the floor, Shinichiro to go. Yeah, I have a comment from the challenger side about the theme ingredient. Older brother Salvatore says, hey, when I was a baby, my mother used to put tomato juice in my bottle instead of milk. What more can I say? What more could you ask for? Maybe he's got tomato juice coursing <laughs> through his veins. Older bro, Salvatore. Well, you know, when you think of tomatoes, you think of Italy, right? right? Especially the southern part of Italy. Tomatoes are so important in their everyday okay, diet. Okay, and look, already needing a dough of some sort. Yeah, it looks like a pizza dough. Pizza dough, that one? Yeah, I'd have to say. All right, quickly out of the gate, getting the dough for pizza together. And uh, look at the brothers. So in sync they are. Not the boys' band, <laughs> but a young man's cooking team, and they know exactly what they're supposed to be doing. Now the Iron Chef's side. Oh, they've got uh, Guji or Okay, very high-end fish there. Michiba with the honors. Slicing the skin off that one, and while Iron Chef Sakai looks like he's got the KP duty with the tomatoes. Yeah, he's got them in hot water, okay. and that'll help peel the skin. All right. Yeah, it's, it's very easy doing this. Just try it one time, you'll be okay. surprised. Oh, Hard to tell, though, if the two are working on things together, if they go in their own separate ways, if uh, Michiba is taking the lead and Sakai assisting. Don't know on that, though. Right, it's right. hard to figure out. Okay, and also, chefs competing here are assigned two assistants, but today with two chefs, each side will have just one assistant. Right, and if you notice now that the uh, the brothers here, they're crushing the tomatoes. Just right? grab it and squeeze. Uh -huh. So I'm guessing from, from this uh, a puree or something for a sauce Kusan. later on? Yeah, okay, okay, go. More comments from the Cuomo brothers. Quote, it's great to be a part of this tag team battle, but our main agenda today is to show everyone what we young chefs can do and to urge the older veterans to retire as soon as possible. These comments coming from the older brother wearing Armani slacks. Armani, <laughs> he's got those well protected. Uh, these guys, 22 and 23, added up to 45. On the other side, Michiba plus Sakai, their age has come to 117. We're talking about my age, okay? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just numbers. Okay, how about the more experienced and seasoned Michiba oh, and go, Sakai? Yeah. And now Michiba with the tilefish fillets. Right, right. cured on uh, kombu uh, seaweed. Kombu, often yeah. see this for steaming. Yeah, steaming or, yeah, you're right, steaming Okay, probably. so into the steamer eventually in all likelihood. And now the youngest bro, Luigi, what's he doing in the kitchen there? Is he their <laughs> assistant? I don't think so. At the restaurant, he's the man in charge of taking care of the customers. All three Cuomo brothers working together. You know, if these guys hadn't chosen the restaurant business, they might have had a future in the, the film business. No, yeah. yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, yeah. The boy, dressed yeah, sharp, too. Good looking, good looking guys. guys. Sure. Yes. Let me give you the ingredients in this large pot on the challenger side. This contains olives, garlic, tomatoes, and red chili. Italian through and through. Oh, definitely, yeah. Olive, garlic, tomatoes, great trio there. Uh, a very southern way of using tomatoes, too. It is. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay, southern Italian cooking. Mm -hmm. And Fukuzan? Yes. I asked Iron Chef Sakai who's doing what on their side, and he told us, well, I'm responsible for a sliced tomato dish, one of the sauces, and the dessert. Sounds pretty light. Mm, okay. Mm. The Got dessert it. to be handled by Sakai That's and a right. sliced tomato dish and a sauce. I would take that to mean that Sakai is acting more in a supplementary role with Michiba leading the way. Mm. Iron Chef mm. Sakai here at the blender, overflowing there. Don't know if that <laughs> That is for a sauce or a dessert. Okay, if we can get a shot of the challengers now, they've okay. added lobster in here. Oh, lobster. Yeah, it's still alive. Too. Wow, look at that. <laughs> that <laughs> look at that. Not moving from the bubbling action no, there? No, it's moving on its own. Man alive, <laughs> feeling the heat for the last time. Now, I'm pretty sure this will be uh, a soup or zuppa, as okay. they, they say, yeah, soup in Italian. Okay, now back with Iron Chef Sakai. And What's Iron that? Chef has added honey. All right, side <laughs> honey. there's your honey. Hey, there you go. The honey being mixed in with the tomatoes he blended. And right. Right there in a close-up on that, nature's finest. Fukuzan? <laughs> yes. Yeah, this mixture that you're talking about is tomatoes and honey so far. Okay, thanks. Okay. Uh, Just so those two in it so far. A, a dessert, I'd say. I mean, yeah, like a sorbet. Yeah. Tomato sorbet? Like yeah. I could go for a spoonful of that right now. <laughs> that would be pretty good, wouldn't it? Yeah. Even more so after it's chilled. All right, 15 minutes gone. Michiba having a go at it. At this chicken, slicing off some skin there. Kusan. Yes. Trying to get more details about that tomato and honey puree that he was working on. I spoke with Sakai-san again, and he told me that he added honey to try and score points during the tasting from Saijo-san. That also <laughs> means that he could be adding apples later on. <laughs> well, okay. won't end up being your brand of curry. Well, you know, tomatoes are called apples of love if you take the, the French uh, translation directly, right? Oh, uh, really? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's okay, what they say. Okay, so you've so got honey and uh, the apples. apples. So it's starting to sound like your commercial, actually. Perfect, I love it. <laughs>
<laughs> and Kusan, yes. this information just in, the Iron Chefs are shooting for five dishes today. All right, thanks, Iron Chefs. Have five in mind. Sakai's already told us he's making the dessert and a sliced tomato dish and the sauce for one of the three other dishes we can deduce that Michiba should be making. And here, still on the Iron Chef side in the blender there. Uh, asparagus, I believe. That's asparagus. Ah, yeah. I okay, see. gonna blend that with something and now, hey, some excitement upstairs yeah. there. <laughs> Having a good time. Over there, Mama making some noise in the royal <laughs> box on that side. Challengers Entourage, folks from the Brothers Restaurant, Salvatore, named after the oldest of the brothers. Couldn't make out exactly what the cheer oh, was, though. having a great time here. Yeah, the brothers are having a good time, too, yeah, in here. Yeah. Kuzan, yes. the challengers say they're making four dishes, quote, four perfect dishes, special dishes of the Cuomo family. Back to you. All right, home-style cooking, courtesy of the Cuomo Brothers, a quartet of dishes on the way. Okay, you can see the Iron Chefs have the pressure cooker out Okay, now. see what we can make out in it. Uh, shark's fin in that Yeah, thing. shark's fin, yeah. chicken, and onions. And okay. onions. Yeah. Shark's fins, uh, taking a page from Iron Chef Chen's playbook. And obviously, of course, tomatoes will be added. Okay. So, uh, chicken and tomato stew. Okay, now back with the brother's side. Have no idea what this one yeah. is. What really? is that? Um, it could, well, I could be wrong. What do you I'm, think? I'm thinking a, a gelato, maybe. Is Italian that gelato. Crazy? I don't know. Maybe you mean ice cream? You could say that. Well, an ice cream, yeah. The yeah makings exactly. of an ice cream yeah. here, then. It could very well Kusan. be. Yes. The contents of this bowl include fresh cream, sugar, ricotta cheese, tomatoes, lemon juice, and orange juice. All right, and I uh, tell you what, I hope they do make this into an ice cream. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, uh, you got a bit of a sweet tooth. Okay. Yeah. Now back with the Iron Chefs, Michiba slicing up tomatoes, adding them to the pressure cooker there, and of course, uh, once cooked in there, they'll be obliterated. Those slices. That that he is tossed in, you know, bringing all that heat to bear on that. Right, right. And, you know, you really don't need any other seasoning to get a flavor out of this. No? Just a little bit of salt would be all you'd need. Okay. Fukuzan! Yes. I have the list of ingredients for this. Oh, rice is going in. Yes, wow, chicken, okay. onion, shark fin, garlic, and peeled tomatoes. And as you just mentioned, uh, rice in there as well. Okay, got it. Turning out to be quite intriguing, yeah, this one. very much so. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Rice soup, perhaps? Personally, I like this one already. You haven't even tasted it yet. <laughs> but it sounds great, the combination. Yeah. Okay, and now there they are at the ice cream machine. It's oh, going yeah. in. Yeah. Yes, right. ice okay. cream on the way, an Italian gelato. Okay, well, okay, guys, a little bit of uh, ice cream history 101. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, the original form invented in China, and then later another form popped up in Italy. Oh, you know, gee, almost like pasta. There you go, yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, and from there it spread all around the world, as you know, and some started to call it ice cream. In France, it's glace, and what do you know? Uh, that's how it all came about. Okay, and this one will be a gelato with an essence of tomato. Right, yeah. Tomato gelato. There you go. Okay, and now Michiba here. Oh, they, I see Uni is okay. on our chef's Searching side. Row. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it's possible that these will be added to the tomato cups, right? Okay. I'm, I'm not ready to call it that yet. Kuzan? Yes. And concerning the uh, peeled tomatoes and the sea urchin roll that you're talking about, I've been told that the sea urchin has been steamed. Okay, make note of that. The sea urchin's been steamed. Okay, that's interesting. And perhaps steamed sea urchin roll to be stuffed into the tomatoes could be a possibility. Uh, I think you're right. Yes. Think so? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. That's you're be the you're not egging me on to make that call, <laughs> are you? Huh? No? no, no, it'll happen. It'll happen. Just watch. You, you don't want me to go out on, on a limb, right? <laughs> hey, you're starting to sound a little defensive here. You okay? All right, back to the Cuomo brothers. Other side lobster and squid's been added to that one. Yeah, that's the soup. There, a right? great looking soup oh, it yeah. is. Yeah, great seafood. Mouth broth. watering, just looking at that, and I think we can easily imagine the taste of this one, mm, right? Yeah, mm, yeah, and a familiar approach. Nice. Yeah. So yeah. Look at that. And now back here, Michiba stuffing this. At, oh. Not the sea urchin row okay. into the tomatoes. That was eggs and broccoli. Oh, okay. Kind of a salad-like yeah. item there. And <laughs> hey, there they go again. <laughs> Cuomo Brothers Entourage letting loose on their feet upstairs. And they're enjoying what you might call a home kitchen advantage today, at least as far as fan support goes, making for a hostile environment for the Iron Chefs, Sakai and Michiba. They could use some support about now. Now, how is it proceeding with the stuffed tomato? Kuzan, yes. And yeah, just to confirm the ingredients in these cups, boiled eggs, broccoli, and lobster. Lobster, lobster there. Too. Oh, right. yeah, there you go. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. 30 minutes gone, 30 to go, entering the second half of this doubles battle. Mmm, scampy prawns. Look at okay. that. Summer's here, the time is right for a doubles fight. 
Yeah, well, scampi in there oh, it looks great, doesn't it? And how about the volume of olive oil in there? There's a there fair isn't bit, much yeah. meat to these prawns, is there? Garlic slices no, you, in there? you take all that meat, it would make about one biteful. Really. Just okay. one bite and you're done, huh? <laughs> okay, yes. In this spot on the Iron Chef side, the ingredients are broth, consomme gelatin, tomatoes, zucchini, and let's see. Ooh, what do you know? More honey. Honey again. <laughs> They're really after appealing me again. to you. Yeah. <laughs> Better watch out. <laughs> and this one here has more elements of, to it of a French flavored soup that's than what, Japanese. Yeah, that's kind of what it seems like. Or at least it? a Western flavor if mm. not French. Oh, check this out. Ooh. There they go. Iron Chef's side. So it's definitely a sorbet Tomato on the way. sorbet on yeah. the way. And the, the difference between ice cream and sorbet is the use of, of milk, right? Yep. Whether they, they have oh, it in okay. or not. I see. So okay. that, there you go. All right, the brother side, they've got milk in there, so it's an ice cream. Right, uh, or a gelato, okay. right. And it's already done, look at this. Ah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I could go for a scoop of that right now. <laughs> it does look good, doesn't it? Even a spoonful would do. The color is so appealing. It is, I was going to say, it's great color. Yeah. More than any other time here, I feel like getting up from this seat, going over there and getting a lick off that spoon of that ice cream. Whoa! Whoa. 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 Look at that. Stand back. <laughs> Who's that? Yes, go ahead. Yeah. Yes, uh, thank you. The Cuomo brothers gave us a few tips on how to get good results out of our tomato dishes, sounding very philosophical. The younger brother said, you need to stew them and you need to understand them better. All right, know <laughs> your ingredient and know when to put out the fire right here. I'll tell you what, not wow. just the pan, also the crowd upstairs getting fired up seeing that. So I'm thinking uh, a sauce uh, pomodoro. Fairly uh, conventional. Yeah. Pomodoro means golden apple, right? Okay, a little right. taste test of that one. They also added tomato sauce to the scampi dish as well, I see. Right, yeah, yeah. And it probably adds a lot of body. Right, and I think they'll add even more a little bit later on. We'll have to wait and see if that, that actually okay. comes about. Okay, check this out. Back with the Iron Chefs. Michiba and a tomato cocktail, perhaps. 15 I, minutes yeah, left. Yeah, that's what I think. Wonder I think if they've is. been uh, dressed up in any way or if they're just plain for right now. I'd say more honey again. To be <laughs> <laughs> uh, too much, too much. It'd be like stuff in the ballot box, uh, don't you so think? So you guys don't think, uh, think I'm right here, huh? Yes. Yeah, these tomatoes on the Iron Chef side are dressed with, uh, let's see if I can pronounce this right, chidores and more honey. Back honey. to you. <laughs> Again. <laughs> I told you. It's I not today's you. theme, right, fellas? <laughs> I know, but you know. <laughs> All right. And now the broccoli and egg salad stuff. It's going to be stuffed in the tomatoes, and mm -hmm. these have been steamed, I believe. So I think what we've got hey, here is the pizza. Salvatore. No doubt. Pizza dough being stretched out, taking care of business. Yeah, and that's how you do it. You stretch it out just a little bit at a time. You know, some guys throw it up in the air, right? right? We've yeah. seen that here, but he's not going to do that? Well, that's more for entertainment purposes than yeah. actual... Uh, just for show. Yeah, I'm just... curious to see how thin they'll make it. You know, the various kinds of crusts, mm. and recently thin crusts, right. are uh, more popular in Japan. So right, right. I would think that they might try to go in that direction. Right, well, there there are thick ones too, right? Especially mm -hmm. in, in the U.S. or North America, they have the, the thicker crusts, right? Which Whichever you like. Right, but uh, I, I know they really would like to do this in a, a stone oven. Right. You know, they have sure. to use the regular oven here. But. Oh, changing players. Hey, there. hey, now there <laughs> is some tag team action there. Raffaele taking over what Salvatore started. Now, is that the crowd you telling them to throw it up in the air? The brothers playing play to the crowd. Feels like we're having a party today. And we're going to have some fantastic fare to enjoy after all the cooking's done in this one, going from uh, pizza dough now and fish on the Iron Chef side. Okay, now these are the ones that were kelp cured, right? And then steamed? The tile fish, right? Yeah, or a kind of snapper, I think. Okay, yeah. and at the ready there beside the stuffed tomatoes and now Sakai creamy concoction. Kizan, yes. This syrup, well, actually, it's more of a sauce, an asparagus sauce that Sakai san is spooning onto these tomatoes he made just moments ago. Asparagus, okay. okay. Yeah, that looks Good. Okay, let's sauce. get back to the challengers here if we can. Uh, you know, don't miss this. This is a, everybody knows it, right? Classic. Margarita pizza. I'd like to have one with no salt. <laughs> <laughs> They'll sprinkle some mozzarella cheese over this and then just okay. bake it, right? And basil leaves on top, right. not chopped yep. up too much. Exactly. Just a basic approach here. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, Nothing else on it. No, this is the simple and the real deal. No other toppings there. No, mm -hmm. what you're looking at here is the original form of pizza. That's, mm -hmm. uh, you know, nowadays you see all <laughs> sorts of things on top, but uh, those are the modern oh, version of pizzas. Yeah, no what you mean. Uh, all right, now back on the Iron Chef side, Sakai working the sorbet into a like a mini frying pan. Yeah, yeah. that is a frying you pan. You never know what they're going to pull. <laughs> it's a little silver colored thing. I, I guess that's how it'll be served. Uh, should amuse the tasters. A little over 10 minutes left, and so they'll probably be taking that one back to the fridge, freezer, keep them chilled as you get some real right. close up look yeah. at that. Yeah, I imagine. Apparently the sea urchin now has gone into this one. Huh. Oh, okay. This is, the, this is the pot which had the steamed tile fish, and now a few other things as well, including the sea urchin 
row and could be a done deal. Could very well be, yeah, it's already Just in the bowl. serve it from that to the tasters. Any flavoring agents? I don't think they've used any seasoning mm -hmm. yet. Maybe a no tomato sauce, I think. Oh, okay, uh, and, and this one you mean? The, the tomato and zucchini in a broth here. Could be. Just oh. pour it on. Oh, okay, well, yeah, that looks like what they're gonna do. Cousin. 10 minutes left, go. Yeah, well, uh, we're about to see an interesting twist to this battle. Iron Chef French Sakai has volunteered to write the menu today, and he says he'll be ready to do that in just a few minutes. Whoa, Sakai to write the menu. Oh. Michiba too busy. Okay, I think uh, if we can swing around the other side, side now. Uh, yeah, I think uh, you notice a pizza? Yes. In the oven, there it goes. Both All are in right. there. Yeah, normally it's done in a stone oven, like we mentioned, and temperature-wise, it should be around 650 to 700 degrees Fahrenheit, right? Uh -huh. But this one, uh, you can see, is about 300 Celsius, so still below 600. Way below. Yeah, so a stone oven only takes about one minute Okay, to do. we'll see how long it takes here. Hey, and, spaghetti. Oh, yeah. Okay, spaghetti in hand, ready to drop that into the boiling water. Pizza and pasta, and check out this, this move. This is the way you do it. A little trick of the trade, hey. huh? Yeah. Sure flattened out in a hurry there. Yeah. Side yeah. to side, you want to try that one at home? <laughs> no way. That's magic. Okay, pretty <laughs> slick move. Swinging back to the other side now, look, looking in on this one that Michiba's working on. I believe this is the pressure cooker, has tomato slices uh, in it. Yeah, with the chicken, right? Okay, and from the looks of it, the tomatoes were obliterated pretty good, just in liquid form now. Mm-hmm, you see that? And uh, shifted to another formation, contents dumped into a smaller pot, and how about Sakai doing the menu? Oh, with red ink. His first time to ever see his calligraphy work. A full course tomato dinner. Making a meal out of tomatoes, and we'll see what dishes are coming. And how about Sakai doing the menu? <laughs> With red ink. This is the first time to see his calligraphy work. Let's see a full course tomato dinner. <laughs> Making a meal out of tomatoes. We'll see what dishes are coming. I gotta say though, nice writing. I mean, seriously, mm. uh, Sakai's calligraphy work is excellent. Got to be impressed with that. So you're saying you didn't think he could write? Okay, he can paint <laughs> and write, okay? Sakai taking over the task. That's become standard for Michiba. Mm-hmm, and oh, now wow. Michiba looks like he's calling one of his dishes Samgatang. Oh, uh -huh. okay, the Korean-style stew. So that would be the, the pot with the chicken meat, right? Oh, wow, that's okay. great. Like and come that. to think of it, you know, Michiba-san often prepares different varieties of that soup, okay, right? his own version. that's why he used rice in it. Right, right, so he usually put rice in the stew, right? Right, right. But you normally normally stuff it in the chicken in that dish. Good job, exactly. Right, right, right. Yeah, so yeah. you stuff it with the glutinous rice. Okay, yeah. and uh, so this time Michiba only throwing it in the pressure cooker. Right, with a little, uh, what is that, ginseng on top? Okay, yeah, and now so. Cuomo Brothers' side, big bro, Salvatore here. Okay, and that's seafood soup Italian style Ooh, there. Looking boy. good. <laughs> Isn't that? Wow, Mediterranean yeah, style, exactly. definitely, from the looks oh, of that it one. Looks so good, doesn't it? Now, Sakai on top of the sorbet. Now, he's adding something okay. there to that. Spoon that one on, Very it. interesting. Yeah, Let's, what is that? Fukusan? Yes. Yeah, the Iron Chef's Kumi sauce is Sabayon sauce. Oh, okay, sabayon, okay, what's in that again now? Uh, it's a sauce using egg yolk, right? Okay, and because it is for dessert, probably it's been sweetened in some fashion. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying he'll bake this. What? Mm -hmm. Come on, it's got sorbet underneath there. Yeah, I say he'll bake it. I, I can't go with you on that one. <laughs> no, you don't think so? Let's watch and see. Whatever it is, common sense tells me he can't bake it. But uh, let's uh, see. Okay, see this? Yeah, uh -huh. Uh -huh. the sorbet's going to melt. <laughs> well, if you add yeah. a thick layer of sabayon sauce yeah. and you pull it out quickly enough, it'll be okay. I don't get it. Does it go to the fridge after this? Seems uh, like a strange move. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'd have bet you a couple of thousand. No way it'd go in the oven. <laughs> One thing you can predict about the Iron Chefs, they're unpredictable, and now upstairs, they're going wild. And notice Michiba-san is now covering this up with Perciado, uh, a breadcrumb and basil mix. All right, the stew there, and three minutes left. Sounds and looks Italian. That I was going to say, this is it, yeah. And this will also go into the oven. This one here. Mm -hmm. Okay, less than three minutes left, though. Yeah, we'll just need to uh, lightly grill the surface mm. is all. They'll have enough time? Oh, sure, no problem. Yeah, just to brown the surface, right? Okay, right. under three minutes, coming down the pike to the finish here, Cuomo Brothers' side, and uh, going to the well on this one here. So it's a tomato soup or a juice or something Soup? here. Yeah, that's what it looks okay. like. Okay, and ice cream in the front there. Think they might be planning oh, to add the ice cream okay. in here? I think you're right. I think you called okay, it. Okay, now the spaghetti's come off the pot into the pan. This one we should all be familiar with. Right, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Flipping, flopping, and trying to find favor with the flavor of this one, pomodoro sauce. And with pasta and pizza, the boys looking to score points in the paint, offering two of the most popular items in Italian cooking, pizza and spaghetti. Yeah. 
And now, let's see, checking this one out a minute to go. Okay, the Iron Chefs, they've added shiso flowers on the soup. Final too. 60 seconds of a doubles match with tomatoes. Oh, he's going to char in the surface here, you see? Okay, skip in oh, the oven. Using the torch. The torch. Yeah. In yeah. the last minute, not enough time to get the job done in the oven, so they resort to the handheld torch and the assistant over that one, finishing it up. Salvatore here struggling a bit, it looks like, to get the ice cream out. The tomato gelato struggling to get it off the spoon. And Sakai's also got the torch out here, and he couldn't wait for the oven, I guess. Man right? alive. <laughs> He's going to have to make sure to do this quickly to keep the bottom layer frozen. Incredible. Yeah. Less than 30 seconds to go, and now the scampi prawns and the lobster, one of the five dishes of Cuomo family recipes the brothers have promised. They've worked as one today, while the Iron Chefs, not used to working as a team, used to going at it solo, not easy to change gears in that regard. Now, Sakai, Sabay on top, Sorbet, it's out of the oven, and they are done with the torching on that one. Iron Chef's trying not to get torched for a second time in a doubles battle. Final seconds tick down, and that's it. The cooking's done. The tomato battle is over. So, how did the hour go for you? Well, um... The time, you know, for us to uh -huh. was a bit, bit short, a short. Uh, for us. Uh -huh. To cook things right, you need uh, uh -huh. time. You need um, time. And how about your dishes? Uh, quality of the dishes, um, okay, I think. Yeah. Good? Mm, probably. So you're confident that you'll win today? Uh, I can't say for sure. Not sure? Depends on... Depends on the taste buds. <laughs> the tasters. How was that hour? Yeah, well, today, with Sakai-san, uh -huh. I gotta tell you, I felt like I was on a championship team. <laughs> okay. Today, I can give our dishes 100. Perfect score? Mm. Sakai-san, do you agree? Yeah, this was the first time we worked together. Right. I just followed Michiba-san completely. <laughs> really? Oh, no. <laughs> I acted as his assistant today. Tomatoes are something we use every day, so right. in that sense, yeah. it was very, very easy to handle. Okay. Ichiba-san said 100, but I give 105 points. Yeah. <laughs> Even higher? Wow. Challengers, the Cuomo brothers are offering five dishes. First, Capri-style salad. The powerful and earthy basil sauce raises to wondrous heights the time-tested harmony of mozzarella cheese and tomatoes in their starter. Prawn and fresh tomato linguine. The sweetness of fresh tomatoes goes great with the scampi prawns. The al dente finish of the pasta, cooked by native Italian chefs, rings authentic. Third, pizza margherita. Basic in approach, plain appearance, but a profound dish that will allow the tasters to appreciate what tomatoes are all about. Bouillabaisse for summer in Naples, a perfect dish for satisfying one's appetite during the summer. The sweetness of tomatoes gently harnesses the hot red chili pepper and the aroma of garlic. Last is tomato gelato. The natural and refreshing sourness of tomatoes and the sweetness of ice cream are skillfully blended in this dessert offering, while the tomato skin provides an accent in texture. The Iron Chefs are also offering five dishes. First, tomato salad with white asparagus sauce. The asparagus sauce dresses up freshly chopped tomatoes. Truffles added to the salad bring a noble aroma to the Iron Chef's opening dish. Stewed tomato, oriental flavor made by Michiba. Lobster, matsutake mushrooms, and okra flowers used in a rather straightforward approach. The taste is accentuated by the slight sourness of tomatoes. Third, tilefish and tomato in consomme jelly. A great collaborative effort, Sakai handling the tomatoes and vegetable soup poured onto the tilefish pieces cooked by Michiba. Fourth, Iron Chef's chicken and tomato gratin. It uses eight whole tomatoes. The inspiration for this one with Michiba at the helm comes from Korean style herbal chicken soup. Last is tomato glace, a sorbet with charred sabayon sauce on top. The sweetness of the sorbet combined with the hit of Tabasco makes it a truly unique dessert. A family affair, the Cuomo brothers. The elder two run the kitchen at their Tokyo restaurant. Customers have to book up to half a year in advance. Today's challengers, Salvatore and Raffaele Cuomo. It's summer and time for another doubles match. The challengers choose Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai and Iron Chef Japanese Roksaburo Michiba. Chairman Kaga unveils the theme. Undoubtedly an Italian cuisine friendly one, tomatoes. Two chefs cooking as one, the brothers finish with a sumptuous set of five. Iron chefs, Michiba taking the lead, Sakai assisting, come in with a dandy quintet of their own. 
And now, the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel today for the tomato battle are songwriter Yasushi Akimoto, singer Hideki Saijo, and culinary critic Asako Kishi. First, the dishes of challengers Salvatore and Raffaele Cuomo. I feel the great harmony among ingredients in my mouth. It's also soothing while maintaining the natural flavor of the tomatoes. Very simple, yet very nicely done, I think. Starting out with something as standard as this, you can really feel their confidence in the dishes to follow. And servings of the linguine dish now being prepared by Raffaele. The tomatoes and prawns are well balanced. The prawns are very sweet, and tomatoes add a tartness. It's um, very good. I like it. Al dente, let's just like this. Well, personally speaking, the pasta is a little too al dente for me. <laughs> just a little bit, you know. Yeah. Well, this sauce on top. It has such a profound flavor. Each time I chew, I, well, I confirm the harmony with the cheese. There's just more and more depth in flavor. The crust is so thin, yet the flavor has such depth. And the tomato comes in to help the crust. To me, the crust is the best part of this pizza. <laughs> Yeah, the tomato's natural flavor helps make this soup uh, refreshing by offsetting the spiciness of the other elements in this. The spiciness is the key in this dish. You know, tomatoes and seafood in a soup like this, it's, well, it's quite commonly seen. But I don't think I've tried one that's quite as spicy as this one. I really I love this dish. I never thought the rendezvous of tomatoes and ice cream would be so romantic. But you should leave out the skin next time you do this. Hideki loves it. <laughs> <laughs> like I said in the commercial, this is just great. And now up the dishes of Iron Chef's Michiba and Sakai. Well, I can't tell what this is. But it's good. You guys look like a couple of old comedians on stage. You, you, really, you really looked like you were having a lot of fun making this here today. Well, you used a lot of tomatoes and made the sauce from asparagus to support the dish. Mm. I like this. I don't really sense the flavor of the tomatoes too much. But how do you say, to me, this is a mysterious flavor, yeah. Well, the appearance of this is that of uh, stuffed and steamed Japanese dishes with sweet and sour sauce over it. It's a, well, it's a very good, it's a novel approach, actually. And when eaten with the stuffed ingredients, it's, well, not bad at all. Michiba now dishing out the third one, tile fish and tomato in consomme jelly. I didn't know tomatoes and tilefish could be harmonized like this. It's very subtle, but in my mouth I feel the sweetness coming out. The textures, how do you say, of the vegetables are pleasantly dancing around in my mouth. Mm, very nice. It's like a salad. Yes, that's a right. A salad in the form of a cold, chunky vegetable soup. <laughs> And now the Iron Chef's special of the day, chicken and tomato gratin. Well, I'd say great. <laughs> this is good, really. Thank you, sir. You know, I was waiting for your uh, taste great sign. <laughs> I thought we'd never get it. Right. <laughs> well, the rice for sure is really the key element in this dish. It's, well, it's very delicious. This is even greater, I'd say. Oh, you shave the ice so fine. It's, well, it's like a sorbet with tomato flavors. And eating this, I, I feel so, so completely refreshed. 
This could be hard to take for anyone who's not crazy about tomatoes. But you have made tomato sorbet with a sabayon topping, a very mm, interesting combination. Tomatoes tangled up in red, we'll find out who ends up seeing red. トマトのように真っ赤に燃えた4人の料理。今日の戦いを見て改めて料理というものがエンターテインメントになり得るということを確信しました。真夏の世の楽しいひととき、この判定で締めくくりたいと思います。それでは発表します。Today, Italian, French, and Japanese cuisines all coming together, igniting culinary fireworks for the summer. Challengers, the Cuomo brothers, doubling up, cooking marvelous Southern Italian-style dishes. Iron Chef's Michiba and Sakai paired up for the first time. Was it a success? Who takes it? Whose cuisine reigns supreme? Tetsujin, Michiba, Sakai! It's the Iron Chefs! They win it! Michiba and Sakai, despite the tough format, putting a tomato pasting, if you will, on the Cuomo brothers. Both sides cooking up a storm, and congratulations, handshakes all around. The Cuomo's a superb effort, but you not served today. Game and match to the more experienced and seasoned team of Iron Chefs, Hiroyuki Sakai and Rosavaro Michiba.